Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. So today's video is going to be of my six months natural lens check. So just for those of you who don't know, I transitioned for two years and then cut off my relaxed ends last year in November, November 2013. So it's been about six months. It will officially be six months in a few days, but I just thought I'd do the video today. Um, yeah, so before I kind of show you guys where my length is at now, let me just say I don't feel like my hair grew. From the last length check video I did, I'll put the video up here, um, I don't feel like my hair's grown. Uh, I haven't had any setbacks. In fact, I feel like my hair is doing so much better than it was six months ago. Um, but I just don't feel like it's grown. Like I've done length checks and I feel like I'm pretty much at the same length that I was at in like those videos or that video. Um, I mean, I have dusted my ends like on two or three occasions, but like I don't feel like that's impacted my where my length should be. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I mean. It's funny because my hair seems feels like it's doing really great. It feels like it's kind of um, a lot more voluminous than it was before. I feel like it looks like it's gotten longer, but again, it doesn't seem to be that way. Um, my single strand knots, guys, have reduced like significantly. I wasn't scared to chop them off, and obviously, I've kind of implemented some things into my regimen that helps to reduce them. So yeah, I don't know why my hair doesn't feel like it's grown. But anyway, I'll show you guys. And I also wanted to fill you guys in on some life updates because I feel like the most personal I've gotten on YouTube is um, my sister tag. Whereas if you guys follow the blog, you'll probably know me a lot more than anyone who follows me on YouTube. Just because I've been blogging for a lot longer, like four plus years, and also because I've always had this fear of like, you know, YouTube having to be what you say it is. So if I've come to do hair videos, I need to stick just solely to that. But that isn't the case, and that shouldn't be the case. So I have some life updates, and um, I'll fill you in on those after we've done the Okay guys, so yeah, that was my length check. Let me know what you guys think down below. I don't know if it's grown, if it didn't grow, I don't care, whatever. Um, life updates. So, the first update, I'm going to be introducing a new video every so often. It doesn't have a specific, like, I don't know, frequency. But I'm going to be introducing a new video which is going to take form of a vlog. I'm not going to be starting a new channel for it, for the reason I'm about to explain. So, I love hair care guys. I love talking about hair. I do, I do, I do. However, there is so much more to every individual that you see on YouTube that talks about hair, that talks about singing, that talks about makeup and beauty. I'm sure they'll be able to say there's so much more to them. Um, I have felt myself like sometimes you feel restricted. You feel like you can only blog about the things that people love seeing you blog about. And yes, you should predominantly blog about that because that's your passion, that's what you're good at. However, I personally came to YouTube and started to blog for myself um, as a way to grow confidence, as a way to express something I love and I'm passionate about and to share at the same time. But all in all, all of them vlogging and blogging were like or are like diary entries for me that I'm going to look you know, back on when I'm like 40, 50, 60, show my kids. So they really were for me. I think it's important to start with yourself. So it wasn't because of people's demand, but it was definitely for myself. Um, and something that I'm very passionate about, as, as well as hair care, is sharing life experiences. I've gone through so many things. Everybody has gone through so many things. Um, but I'm really passionate about sharing them. I feel like we can grow and we can learn from each other's experiences. So for example, 
I lost my mother a few years ago, I've gone to university, I've gone through um, you know, breakups, I'm now in a relationship, I'm a woman of faith, I'm um, a woman who's working in the financial industry and all of those things I'm sure one of them at least one person out there watching this video can relate with so I'm really passionate about sharing my life experiences in hopes of you guys growing with me in hopes of you guys um, I don't know being able to share something with me or with other people and just hoping I'm just with hopes of you guys being encouraged and motivated so the vlog series or whatever you call it I don't know is gonna be called imperfectly perfect because that is what I am and what I'm proud to be um, and that will be starting soon I'm not gonna put a date on it I'm having a few like updates done on the blog which are hopefully gonna um, come to fruition in June so the series should start about then um, my hair videos will be the sole focus on the channel but there will be a random burst of like or a random video which is completely unrelated to hair um, so that's the first update let me guys know, let let me know what you guys think um, but it's going to happen so if you do want to just watch um, hair videos then of course I urge you just to stick to the videos you do like and just to you know kind of be positive if you do come and watch it just to kind of always be positive and stuff like that so yes the second update is kind of an, a thank you and an update actually um, anyone that follows me on Instagram will know that I started a new role at work and um, for those of you who don't know I work in finance and my previous role was um, sort of an area of analytics where I've now moved on to a sales role um, I never saw myself as someone within sales or as a salesperson um, but um, I thank God it's a role that I'm really enjoying currently um, and you know it's interesting because I wasn't I wasn't someone who ever saw myself going into sales because I only saw sales as cold calling and selling and pushing products on someone which is something that I, I struggle to do. I find it really difficult to force something on someone or push something on someone um, but the role of course and within the organisation that I work in is also very much so focused on relationship management so um, that's something that I feel I have I don't know that's something I feel like I'm strong at so it works for me and yeah so that's something new it involves quite a bit of traveling um, I speak German so I'm gonna be in Germany quite a lot and yeah that's just like my second update the last thing no and one thing before the last thing new videos will be out every Sunday today I couldn't film on Sunday because I needed to nap I was so tired after church and I didn't have enough time to edit and I didn't want to post really really late so this is probably something you're going to be watching on a Monday. Happy Monday! Um, yeah, so final thing, actually, it's not an update, but I wanted to ask you guys for some advice. I've never used sheer butter ever, guys, in my hair. Well, not ever, but I've not really ever wanted to use sheer butter in my hair because I think it's super heavy, I think it's sticky, and I've just shied away from it. However, now that I'm natural, and every just about every natural head out there loves shea butter i've decided to dip my toe in the water and just give it a try because it must there must be something about it that natural hair likes um so i went to ghana recently i'm not from ghana but i went on holiday and i came back with two of these so i came back with 10 kg of shea butter because if you go to the motherland you have to bring motherland goodies home um so besides the whipped shea butter which i know is what like everyone kind of like likes to make or use I wanted just to ask like how else you guys think I can get rid of this stuff not get rid of but what I can do with it um I plan on like whipping and giving it to like aunties with kids at church or family members um but besides that is there anything else you would recommend um yeah so that's it guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye